Welcome to another week here at Tutorial Thomas and I are working on the attic this week. We are trying to do some of the electrical Cat6 cables and um, I have two more of his brothers here that are helping downstairs in the first two floors to clean up a little bit, um, get all the tools in one spot and then maybe next week we can sort through all of them and get kind of that whole area cleaned up for the next steps. So we are finding more and more evidence of fire in the attic that we were here. Doesn't matter where, we just open the walls and we find burned sections. But most likely what happened is the entire roof was burning and they replaced the majority of it. Um, all the things that were still in pretty decent condition, they probably left it. But it was probably a major undertaking to just replace that entire roof line that was going up uh, over here. So Thomas and I opened up some of the spaces here in the landing area of the attic. Uh, we took the walls that were leading into the loft out, mainly because there were so many walls in it, uh, so many holes in, to, in the wall that needed to be fixed. And so when we drywall over it, it's not going to be all nice and flat. So that's the first spot, first reason. And then second reason, we still wanted to figure out where we want to run electrical. And then when, they, when we actually open it up, um, Julie and I thought that potentially we might want to change our plans a little bit for the loft and uh, game, room, game room area. We are still deciding of kind of what we're going to do, but we probably will make some changes over here. I think it's going to be better. We're going to give the kids a little bit more space for the, um, to play and still give ourselves a nice reading area. Here you can see what I'm talking about here, the center of the attic room. We have obviously a lot of different angles that are just coming together. So most likely we're gonna put a small little flat spot there in the middle, maybe a foot by a foot uh, wide, just enough to install a ceiling uh, chandelier box and then we go from there. The other option is of course we just go from left to right or from top to bottom here a, a beam that would hold the chandelier too but we are not sure. What do you guys think? Leave us a comment of which option you guys would prefer.
So I had to leave a little early yesterday, but Thomas stayed a couple long, a couple more hours and finished all the electrical in the attic, at least the receptacles. He ran all the wires. He did not um, install the, the receptacles themselves yet, but at least get the circuit started everywhere. Um, we have currently two circuits that he that he ran in that time and finish it all um, up. So that for the main areas, for the hallway, since we potentially are going to make some changes, still we are, um, we didn't, uh, I didn't let him run there yet. I think we're gonna do that in the next couple weeks. Julie and the kids just came by. We talked a little bit through the layout in the attic so that the next couple weeks I can do the lighting and ceiling modifications that we have to do to obviously attach lighting where we want to put the lightings. So one of the things that we will probably change is in the bathroom right over here, we are adding a ceiling that is flat to make it easier on us we really don't need to have all these different angles in the bathroom over here um, in our, since it's just a master bathroom. So we're gonna make a nice flat ceiling where we can attach lighting on them. Then for example, in the closet, we are going to use track lighting along the angled walls because then we can point it in all different directions and have, wonderful, uh, have great light um, in the uh, in the closet where we really need it especially when you're looking for the right clothes and stuff like that so it's obviously going to be nice um, there and then the chandelier in the middle we are trying to figure out exactly how we want to install it there's kind of two options of either doing a beam kind of an exposed beam that just comes through um, the middle and it's going to hang off of that or we make a small little flat spot for the chandelier to mount on in the top area i'll show you guys here in a second so we are kind of leaning towards the flat area um, because it's less intrusive and also makes it be more victorian style they really didn't do exposed beams as much uh, during those times so we are kind of leaning that way but we are not 100 sure yet
So I've been running more CAT6 cable here in the attic area. Um, I actually ran out of CAT6 cable. I had to get a second box. This is a, th uh, a thousand uh, feet or about 300 meters. Already ran more than 300 meters, therefore, or a thousand foot. And I will probably have to run a few more lines down into the basement. And I think there's maybe one more line up into the attic. And then otherwise, the, the CAT6, I think is going to be done. I still have to obviously terminate it all in the closet up here and then also in all the boxes. But I might do all some of that stuff later. I'm going to text, test it all, but I don't think I'm going to actually run, um, finish terminating it all when, before we put the drywall in. Because it's going to be easier um, not having all the boxes ready. With the drywall screws, you just have to get around, or with the drywall boxes, cutouts, it's easier to just have the wire hanging there. So we'll see if I feel like doing that beforehand or if we're going to do that later. Well, I think this is it for this time. I see you next time I turn on the camera. Bye.